Oh, hi, Oh, hi, So today we are coming at you from Miyazaki Prefecture, which is famous for Takachiho Gorge, which is a beautiful natural site, but we're having to give it a miss because it is absolutely freezing in Japan. You might have seen on the news that it is the coldest it has been in 10 years. So that will continue to be on my bucket list for a little while longer, but it's okay because today we are warming up the best way that we know how with food and onsens. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so on that note, I think it is time to go and get some breakfast. So right now, Chan, we have come to Nao Chan, which is the number one place to get Miyazaki's delicacy chicken namban. Yeah. Apparently, this is where it all began, and it is not as you might expect from chicken namban. So for those of you who don't know, chicken namban is basically a chicken katsu cutlet with a kind of sweet and sour sauce topped with tartar sauce, but not in Nao Chan. Well, my imagination. It's always like this tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. But this is where it all originally came from. The reason that it is called Namban chicken is because of the sweet and sour sauce that they use. And apparently that is what makes it Namban and not the tartar sauce. I can like hear them frying it. I'm so hungry right now. It is 11 o'clock. This place is entirely packed out. They say that it's kind of a limited dish because it's so popular because it's the original. There's not an empty seat in the house at 11. It just opened. This is crazy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so excited to see a bit of fried chicken, but that looks absolutely delicious. It's all very, very fresh. It smells so like citrusy, delicious, fresh. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. It's basically lunchtime right now. The butter is more like thick than crunchy. Yeah. So I heard that the reason for that is because they get like the egg batter and they actually like fold it around the chicken while it's cooking. So it's not just like dunked in batter, they like add it while it cooks the extra batter. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's like, yeah, topped with it. You can like see the citrusy juice as well. So that is the original chicken namban. That is so good. I think I've got like sauce dribbling down my chin. It's so juicy. I've had chicken namban before and you do kind of expect that tart sauce and it makes it a little bit heavier, but this is so light and refreshing. Yeah, wow. That's delicious. Not just because I'm hungry either. So just a nice saucy bit of cabbage too. <laughs> yeah, so they have like their own special vinegar namban sauce, which is like kind of sweet and sour. They also apparently add habos on top too to make it a little bit more citrusy and lemon when it's not in season. You can tell I've researched this. I was super excited waiting for this this morning. So good, so, so, so good. This is exactly what I needed to get warm. Shame. Yeah. It's not like any batter I've ever seen before. It's almost like flossy. Yeah. I don't know, like fluffy. <laughs> now I understand why this place is packed out. <laughs> what do you mean that kind? Like always nothing underneath, right? I think already like melted from the sauce. Isn't it so good? Extremely soft. Mm -hmm. Like really, really soft. Not like, I don't know, maybe it's because it's pressed and not thigh. It's not chewy. No, at all. Just melt. Totally different what I thought. <laughs> but the best chicken number. So right now we're in Nabeoka and all around this area you can find chicken namban but I've never ever seen or heard of chicken namban not having tartar sauce up until now. <laughs> so actually something I forgot to mention, they have just three items on the menu so they specialise in this, they're not messing around, this is what they are known for. Yeah, never eaten. Just this batter is so unique, don't you think? It's almost fibrous, I don't know if you can see that. It's not like panko or something, right? Not breadcrumbs, just no, like no. egg, I think. Egg batter. Every 
everything is proper. Butter, skin, the taste. Vinegary, like lemony, citrusy sauce. Nice cut. Like I've never had it before. That's when you're an expert in it, I think. This is like expensive food. Right? Like the presentation as well is something you would expect from like a really high, high yeah. quality restaurant. I mean, it is a high quality restaurant, but like but high price restaurant. So cheap. 1,000 yen for all of this. It's the cheapest item on the menu, which is odd because it's their like signature dish, but I'm not complaining. Mm. Good pickles. What? So fresh. You would think this would be a kind of heavy thing to have for breakfast, but not at all. I've never had katsu like that. The button bit, the tane. Like it soaks it up. So good. Mm hmm? This is mock. Really? Is that because it's breakfast? No, fast experience. They're gonna taste. Wow. Kobashi. Like buttery almost. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of Miyazaki being particularly famous for miso soup, but maybe it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so this the end. Yeah. It's so good. Like, I can't say anything else. It's just so good. Is Miyazaki's chicken like in general famous? Yeah, I think that's why it's tasty. Plus how they make. Yeah. Tofu made. Oh, that's like a very solid bit of tofu. All them are great. I don't mind about the cold weather if it means we get to come and eat this kind of thing. <laughs> so much flavor here. Mm -hmm. Just, just have a. I think the tartar list version needs to be more popular. What's the time here? From Hokkaido, from Okinawa, from the UK. To see the original. Definitely. I literally can't stop smiling. It was so good. Wow! Anna umai chicken, hajime zabe da. Yeah, so juicy. Kari, juwa, umat. Like it hits you yeah. full time. But we have warmed up our insides. Now it is time to warm up our outsides. I think it is time for us to get in an onsen in yeah. Fighter Prefecture. <laughs> so we have made it to Beppu City in yeah. Oida Prefecture, which is Japan's, or at least one of Japan's most famous onsen towns. We've come to the most rural <laughs> of onsens. This beautiful Lotemboro is all us. Look at that! So in the nature? Yeah, it's so cheap too. Like there's no one else around. This is just our little cabin in the woods. 500 yen each. Just getting back to nature. It's kind of cold, so I'm very much looking forward to this. All right, so we give you these little plastic bags for all of your stuff, which I can't get out, so we're just gonna put them and leave that there for now. We have plugs in case we did bring a hairdryer, which we didn't, so we could be quite cold after this. <laughs> Got stuff to hang our clothes on, and around here, it really is like Ooh. rural onsen. Instead of a shower, we have a tap. And when we came in, we were given this a bucket. So you basically just. <laughs> Our style? Yeah. But that. Ooh. The smell here is incredible. As we came up, you could just see like tons and tons of steam rising. <laughs> I just read online that this place apparently has its own geothermal power plant thing going on from all of this activity. It's nuts. This is all natural. Should we go in there? It's good. Alright. <laughs> Should we get changed? Yeah. <sighs> this is the absolute best. <laughs> it is freezing outside. Like three degrees in yeah. the morning. There has been snow like all over Japan, but still you can sit outside in a little hot tub and not feel a thing. And this is great. I love the 
little garden. Yeah, like the whole walk up here is just like your own sort of garden and then there's the forest behind. Yeah. There's apparently chickens somewhere. It's like really, really natural. Like my image of Beppu was that it's like a big city. Well, not a big city, but like a very kind of cluster yeah. of little onsens all dotted around. And I guess it is, but I didn't expect to be able to find one in the forest. <laughs> this is a little bit far from the city. Mm. Just five minutes to drive. Yeah, we basically just like went up a hill, found a load of onsens that weren't open and just stumbled upon this one by chance. But it is like the best, yeah. the most luck we've had all day, apart from perhaps that chicken, because it's just us so quiet apart from like the cars aside from that the sound of the water running the birds <laughs> and i love that smell actually so sulfuric <laughs> like you can definitely tell that this is real yeah so apparently beppu has the biggest number of onsens in all of japan there's like 2000 yeah. different hot springs and like onsen yusuryo number one in japan or something the world i think like the world well, like number two eh? number, I read one number one is, number one like where you can take a bath yeah which is the main thing that's yeah. why we're here <laughs> which is why it's so famous not just in japan i think in the world like beppu onsen is kind of reputable yeah. for good reason this is absolutely delicious <laughs> this is delicious yeah this is why the car park was like that ah yeah <laughs> i've never seen like you, when you go to onsen towns you do see like the smoke the steam kind of rising from the sewers and stuff but never like piping out like that it felt like a little like onsen yeah. factory i mean like lots of places like uh -huh. that yeah, yeah this is my first time in beppu so right now we are in what's the name of the onsen this place <laughs> and so far it is one of my favorite onsens in all of japan so yeah. i understand the reputation <laughs> the rook massive yeah this rock literally just a mountain onsen right it's really clean like there is not a spot there's not a leaf out of place like it's so clean but it's just so traditional yeah well maintained yeah but like not kind new. of like traditional it's exactly all you need from an onsen especially after a delicious chicken lunch slash breakfast <laughs> so we got two delicacies in two prefectures that's why i like winter in japan winter uh, cold, sad, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's onsen. <laughs> so like, you can get warm. Yeah. Onsen is much better when it's in winter. No tempuro especially, like yeah. your head being slightly cool enough to keep your whole body at a decent temperature, but not being so cold that it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Not mad about missing Takashiho. I'll be back at some point, but right now, this is, this is all that matters. This is gorgeous. It is roasting <laughs> in here. I feel like a little onsen egg, don't you? Yeah. So, on that note, if you want to see more perfect outings in Japan, more of us boiling in onsens, do not forget. Like, subscribe, and share. Ciao, and see you next time. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.